Article 2 of the Uniform Commercial Code, which governs sales of goods, offers different methods for calculating a seller's damages caused by a buyer's contract breach. Section 2706 permits a seller to calculate its damages based on reselling wrongfully rejected goods, if the sale is commercially reasonable and done in good faith. But this provision also contains a strict notice requirement. As a seller learned to its dismay, in Fuji Photofilm versus Zalman Reese and Associates. Zalman Reese, a wholesale electronics distributor, ordered 10,000 photo memory cards from Fuji Photofilm for use in digital cameras. The contract price for the cards was $19.49 each. After having sold approximately 4,000 cards, Zalman learned that a Fuji competitor was selling the cards for a lower wholesale price than Fuji. Consequently, Zalman could no longer sell the remaining 6,000 cards at a profit. Zalman returned the remaining cards to Fuji, although Fuji never authorized the return. Fuji declined to accept the cards and sent them back to Zalman. The cards ping-ponged back and forth between the two companies until Fuji finally agreed to store them at its distribution center. Without notifying Zalman, Fuji resold the remaining cards in a private sale to a single buyer at a discounted price of $4.50 per card. Fuji then issued a credit to Zalman for the amount recovered from the resale. Fuji claimed that the discounted price was the market price at the time of resale. But when Zalman had returned the cards, Fuji was still charging the same price it had originally charged Zalman for new cards. Fuji sued Zalman for breach of contract, seeking to recover the difference between the original contract price and the credit to Zalman. After a bench trial, the court issued its ruling.